Hey guys, this is Dave here. Uh, I'm gonna go through what I had to deal with on this auto park on my uh, 98 Fle Fleetwood uh, Southwind here. Um, this auto park lamp is right here on the dash as you will see. And then if we keep it right there, I'll put it in gear and that goes off. What happened was we stopped to get some grub and stuff and went back out, started the motorhome up, put it in gear. That lamp did not go out and the motorhome did not move. We researched and researched, didn't find a whole lot of information about any of this stuff. So that's why I'm doing this for you guys. I'm gonna go step by step with what I did to disengage it to get us home and how I went about fixing it. <clears throat> also, uh, the rotten green switch. Now, obviously it's fixed. Otherwise that light wouldn't turn off when I put it in gear. Uh, we're gonna go outside and we'll get started on what we're looking at here. All right, turn it up. All right, now we're outside. One thing I learned when we're out there in the boonies is uh, the leveling jacks, don't get it up high enough. So you're scooching under and you're goofy like me, and, uh, a little tight. So make sure you have some blocks with you. You got plenty of storage. Bring some blocks so you can roll that up and crawl underneath and work in a roomy position. Now we go under. Okay, now we're under here. Um, this bracket right here, there's a cable that runs to that drum brake I was telling you about. I'll show you in a second on the drive shaft. And then there's a bracket up here. This pivots. When that hydraulic ram pulls back, it pulls this and tightens the brake onto your drive shaft. Now, in all the things I saw, you're supposed to pull a cotter pin off the back side of there and yank this pin out and this bracket's under pressure so once you yank that out things go crazy <laughs> so you got to do it quick fast and i don't know how it's so tight up in there i don't know if you get your hand out of the way so what i did is i followed this side of the cable and then it goes up over the transmission and then back over to here on this side, on the passenger side of the transmission, and then shoots back over here to this hydraulic ram, right here. This here, this cylinder that you see here, that is the, the essentially a drum brake that's right on your drive shaft. That's what locks it up. When this ram pulls it, it locks up that drum brake and you will not go anywhere. So let's go over here. Uh, uh. See, this is why I have it on blocks, get a little room. Now this cable is what you would be releasing if you pulled that pin. Now, the safe way I did it, is I got a pair of channel locks and I loosened or I tightened this. I it is not counterclockwise. It is just clockwise. Don't listen to him. The hydraulic pump. Okay, and once you're done with that, then you spend this long bolt here, or long nut, counterclockwise, and it's going to spin off of this shaft. And when it releases, it's going to go push over to that side. So do use your wrench, don't use your fingers, because it'll pinch you just the same. But you have more room to get out of the way. So you loosen this, boom, it pops that. That releases your this drum brake here, and allows you to move. The auto park light lamp will stay on because the sensor says that it's in auto park. But this will move and get you home or to the mechanic or wherever you need to go. Okay. Now, in the next part, I'm going to show you how I fix everything and put it all back together. All right. So I've taken the six bolts. Or do I know how to count? Let's see. Four. Yeah. Six bolts out of here. This is the side of the hydraulic pump, and this will get us into where that run green switch that plagued us. Now, if you look back here at my finger, can we see it? Yes. This is your run green green switch. That is what failed and locked that up. 
So when you get home or to the mechanic, you buy one of these, 20 bucks online, Amazon or whatever. You pull back this out, unhook that switch, put that back in, everything works fine. Okay, now, this over here, back to the cable, this is gonna be pinned up over here still. It's not super strong. So what I had to do is I had to grab this bolt with a pair of vice grips or channel locks and you pull it as far this way as you can and then I pinched this part with vice grips and let it go so it wouldn't move back. And then you work, you work your threads back onto this threaded rod and you tighten it until it goes completely tight. And then you put your lock nut back to there and then that won't move anymore. So, and then after you replace your run green switch, you replace that, you go ahead and close this bad boy back up with the six, six bolts that I took out. And then you go up and you test her out. And that should be all there is to it. All right, we're back up here in the cab. We're gonna make sure, I mean, you know, I've already had it fixed, but I'm gonna give you the telltale sign of what you're looking for. Um, so first we'll start this engine here. <laughs> there we go. All right, now what we're going to do is I'm going to put it in reverse. And we're going to listen, you're going to hear a whine. That is the hydraulic pump. Here we go. I don't know if you picked up on that, but it goes, Eeeh! that is a hydraulic ram pulling back. So it releases that brake around your drive shaft or the auto part and that light goes off now if that run green switch sensor is done essentially you will not hear that ee and that light will stay on but that's what we were looking for is that little whiny noise see that came back on again i put it in park now I'll, one more time just because i'm redundant that's what you want to hear. That means that that is releasing and we can now drive away and have a great vacation. Hope this helped you out. Uh, if not, leave a comment. Tell me how dumb I am. <laughs> Either way, thank you. And have a great day. Great vacation.